What's also really cool is that it has high frame rate mode. And high frame rate mode shoots up to 1 960th of a second. And I'm going to show you how that works. It's ultra slow motion. I think they call it 40 times slow motion. But let me show you what high frame rate does. So I'm going to go here uh, to the high frame rate menu so we can make some choices right here under HFR settings. I'm going to go ahead and say the frame rate. Now, 960 frames per second is slow enough to actually watch a paintball pellet in flight hit a, hit a subject, uh, maybe even you know a slow velocity bullet. It's very incredibly fast. Uh, this will do this natively. 480 is also extremely fast, but I'm going to do a demo right now at 960 frames per second so you can see how that works. Now, under priority setting, there is shoot time or quality. Under quality, that will limit you to two seconds of recording into the buffer before it starts writing to the card. Under shoot time, it's four seconds. And so, for a couple of reasons, if you're going to do something very quick, you would want it to do a quality priority because maybe you don't, if, you know, if a button uh, balloon's going to pop or uh, something fast is going to happen, like the clap of a hand, you don't need to record the four seconds before that. And having said that, in ultra slow motion, it's a completely different way of shooting. Rather than anticipate when something's going to happen, you actually take the picture after something's happened because it's recording backwards, and I'll show you how that works. The preferred way to shoot with HFR would be to put the recording set setting on the end trigger. And the end trigger means that it will start recording after the event has taken place. Whereas with start, uh, start trigger, you have to anticipate when that's going to happen. So just say, for example, you know, you're shooting a bullet through an apple and you want to catch that. You would have to make sure that you have that thing on when the bullet is flying. But if you're in uh, end trigger, then what happens is after the bullet explodes and you see all the pieces fly everywhere, then you can hit the record button and it actually monitored backward. Actually clap for like two seconds, just like applause. Okay, go ahead. Okay, now it's recording. And <coughs> there you go. Now you can see your hands moving uh, as she's clapping. It's so interesting because when the fingers collide, they look like they're, <laughs> yeah. Check this out. 